And here we go with another reaction. Now this time it's Gran Turismo 7. This I am completely not surprised. Every time there has been a new console, like one of usually one of the first games that they come out you know, in the first year or in the first few months, it's a new Gran Turismo. So Gran Turismo 6 did not do well. Mm. Gran Turismo 5 was still good, but 6 did not hit the mark. Let's check this out and let's discuss what what we can get out of the small trailer we have. Let's go. PlayStation Studios. The moment this came up, when in the reveal, I was like, that's Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. I was like... 100% no other game they would introduce. Next gen. Oh yeah, baby. Oh ho 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 ho. Ooh. Delicious. The music did it well. The music did well. The whole ambient. It's uh... I, I, I don't know if I've watched it right. It was 6 or 5, but it's very similar. The guy walking through the car. Very similar to the older kind of a trailer. I wonder if it's gonna finally go in like open world. The visuals obviously are looking gorgeous. The lighting is obviously there. Really going for that. Oh, the Mazda. Oh. Yep. I don't know if I like this right now. I don't know. I mean, not the car. I love the car. Probably can never afford it, but <laughs> but like that whole thing at the bottom with the girl, like a. Eh. <laughs> um, I think this should be a bit more interactive. The visually, it feels like. I guess it's like visually, it feels more like those uh, auto part sites. In that sense. I'm pretty sure they will improve this. I think they will. They should. Like, just maps? Like, it's PS5, yo. Show me, like, these virtual maps, you know, like, 3D models running, and then you choose more interactive experience, not just screen slapped on. It's PS5, for God's sake, and we're granted to 7 at this point. I'm not mad, I'm just saying. Like the lighting and all looks obviously like PS5, and they didn't. I don't think it's coming out on at a launch. It's probably gonna be sometime next year, late next year. So they have time. Full 4K, this will be gorgeous. Master, okay. So they're focusing on the past again. Couldn't go Porsche or Ferrari? Uh, my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so... Here's the thing. I, obviously, it's Gran Turismo. Like, hey drive cars but at this point uh, though my concerns about all of this is how much innovation there are gonna be able to bring in I think that's the question probably most of us will have is that at one point Gran Turismo the reason it was so popular now it's the name like it sells well overall because it's the name uh, but at one point I think back in I only got accustomed to Gran Turismo like more with five and sport and all that, but I I was not that much into it in you know like the original like the PS2 days and all. Now I'm not saying that they were bad back then or anything like that. Actually, those were their 
like the high days, you know, like that's where it was like really at the top. Uh, but you be honest, like Horizon, uh, Forza Horizon, right? It's on the PS, uh, sorry, ugh, ugh, I'm going to start a battle on the Xbox side. But then there are also other games that have tried different things like Crew. Obviously, Crew is not as in-depth as this. It's, it's a bit of a different kind of a game. But Horizon went like open world uh, with its uh, gameplay and like it brought in more of a... Same thing what Gran Turismo had with like different cars and like every car feels like it how it should be. In that sense, it kind of took like I've never played it, but I know from what the news are out there. And so when all oh, that, yeah, it has in terms of what it was able to do. It's a bit of a it's step ahead of Gran Turismo right now. So this one, I wonder how much. Again, innovation will it be able to bring? And some of those screens, they definitely need to change that, man. Like, I get it. I get it that it's a classical feel to it. And when you, like, as I said, when you go to an online store, Eric, you know, like some, I, I, I can't, I don't know if I can say it on the video, but like, I'm not promoting anything, but let's say any auto parts store. So you, like, it's kind of like they give, they want to give you that feel. Okay, maybe that. I'm 50-50 on it, but I understand that. But as far as, like, those lines at the bottom, like, why not a voice? You know, I don't want that, like, some, like, a good, very soothing voice in the background and, like, the maps being virtual, 3D, n instead of, like, being old school, just slapped right there. Like, hey, this is, this is it. Like, they should bring in those cool things, in my opinion. So, yeah, so there's that. Uh, For many, this game, this franchise is still a, a lot of meaning like it still holds a lot of meaning for them so for me uh last one i think i bought was sport and then before that it was uh five i know there was a six unless like that much how i kind of went away after I, five i loved it was obviously very realistic it was the first one i played uh, like first Gran Turismo I played, so it was very real for me. So I, back then, I, you know, I I didn't even know how to drive myself. So now, uh, sport, I bought it, never played it. Uh, actually, just was never able to play it. I tried like the VR of it, but like that's it. Uh, I think it was that or some other game. Exactly, it's sitting in the back shelf. I've not played it yet. But this I will because it's finally like with the graphics and all I'm all for the graphics and 4k and all so I'm I'm really excited what they're able to do but I'm it's also a bit holding back on the excitement because I don't want just to be like oh the five and six but it's seven you know like oh it's what you experienced before but same just with higher graphics and better quality in terms of uh, the speed speed and how it'll be able to handle uh the frame rate and all because five had a lot of issues with that with on ps3 a lot so even i think six even had a bit of like uh some technical issues so i hope that's all solved by now and they finally figured out and they can re-innovate so with that uh you all let me know in the comments of what you think about this franchise i can i think that's the best question I can ask is, what do you think? Where should they should go from here? Uh, do you like the minimal thing or minimal gameplay that they showed? And what about the interface, the user interface? I would love to know. So with that, uh, stay tuned and more reactions are coming up. I'll catch you later. Ta-ta.